I woke up to the morning sky first Baby blue just like we rehearsed Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is Tuesday and this week just hasn't started off the best. It really just hasn't. I'm just be honest with you guys. Cause sometimes, you know, you guys have those like, those days where just like, shit's just not going good and just like, you're just in a bad mood. You don't want to do nothing and you don't you do not do anything. That was me. I know everybody thinks that, oh, Carlos is productive every single day. You do this, this, this. I'm human. I'm human. I have the same days that you have, but you can't continue to sit in those days. Cause today I wanted to sit and do nothing again which you, I could do it, but what is that really gonna do for me? So when you're in those situations, you really gotta take a second to be like, bro, I gotta get back to the basics. And today we're gonna get back to the basics. I need to wash my face, brush my teeth, do my yoga, go to the gym, go through my to-do list, knock out stuff, get things done because those little things, those little small wins throughout the day is what ultimately propels you and gets you back on track to what you're supposed to be doing. Um, it's so easy to fall back into just being like, you know what, eh, I'm just not gonna do it today. Again, it's a comfort zone that everybody has, even myself. Some days I just be like, you know what, I'm gonna just chill and not do anything because I don't really feel like it. I'm not in the mood, um, life's not going well, whatever it is. You have those days, but you can't continue to sit in those days. The more that you sit in those days, the more bad habits that you continue to fall back into, continue to do for yourself and put yourself deeper in a hole, and I'm not trying to be in a hole. So I'm gonna get my ass up even though the weather isn't sunshine. It, it's like rainy over here to the, the left and it's like sun over here. I'm gonna show you. Okay, so you got like a cloud over here and then you got like the sunlight over there. So, so you gotta choose. Do you wanna be this over here where it's all dark, it's ugly, don't nobody wanna be over there? Or do you wanna be over here on this side? So today we're gonna choose to be on this side. Today we're gonna get up. Today we're gonna get shit done. And today I'm gonna actually go to a different coffee shop with my homies, catch up with them, and we're gonna get some stuff done today. So I'm just bringing y'all along. I don't, haven't even thought about what this vlog was actually gonna be about. I just turned on my camera. And sometimes you should just turn on your camera and um, do what you gotta do. But yeah, let's get this day started. First order of business is we're gonna do this yoga. If you guys know you do yoga or some type of stretching on a daily basis, hey, you're missing out. You're missing out because Bro, like flexibility, I think a lot of people just overlook what being flexible or like stretching your muscles does for you. It releases tension, it releases stress, it releases like all this different shit. I've been doing yoga for at least like four, five years. I was doing that shit heavy when I was in New Jersey and kind of like slowly kind of fell off. I still do it consistently. I just don't do it as much as far as like the posing and all the rest of that stuff. But yoga with Adrian on YouTube is usually who I watch. I have my own little quick routine if I wanna go through and just do something quick and easy. But stretching, bro, I'm telling you, incorporate it into the morning routine, whether it's like 10, 12 minutes out of your morning, a quick little deep stretch, full body stretch to wake yourself up in the morning. And then also like before you go to sleep, if you can do it before you go to sleep, bro, you'll sleep so good. And I can't stress enough, like your hips, is usually where a lot of your stress is held and in your feet. So if you can get a good hip stretch in, make sure you do that. I woke up to the morning sky first. Baby blue, just like we rehearsed. When I get up off this ground, I shake leaves back down to the brown, 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 brown till I'm clean. All right, I just finished up my yoga. It is 8.14. And so we're meeting at a new coffee shop this time. Uh, Community Goods, I don't know if you guys know what that is. If you're from LA, I'm pretty sure you've been there. I've never been there, but Community Goods is where we're headed today. Uh, so I gotta make a decision because I usually do like an hour workout and it typically takes a little bit longer than an hour because you gotta rest and all the rest of that stuff. Plus it's a 30 minute drive to this coffee shop. So I'm probably gonna have to cut my workout down to just like 30 minutes, knock that out, still get some good work in, and then head over there. Cause I don't wanna be rushing. Like the one thing that I don't like, bro, is rushing. And I haven't even picked out what I'm gonna wear today. Probably just gonna go with an all black fit. Um, but yeah, pre-workout bucked up today. Cause this is the pre-workout that you use if you're really trying to just like 
just fuck some shit up. Now this other one that I have, it's more like a chill, like you take it obviously 30 minutes um, before the workout, but it's this one. It doesn't have like that just like mm factor. This one, you tearing the gym down. So I need to tear the gym down. And another thing I wanna talk about too, like skincare before the gym. Um, I know there's some people who wash their face before the gym, but I don't, I don't think that's necessary. First thing you do, obviously run some water over your face. Then secondly, just to have some hydration, what I use is this, um, this hemp seed oil right here. If you can see that. This is from First Aid Beauty. I just put a couple of drops on my face, rub it in, make sure my skin's hydrated, and then I throw some, some Vaseline on there to keep myself hydrated. But I don't really see the point in like washing your face entirely before you go to the gym and then you sweating and then having to just come back and wash your face. You're just basically wasting uh, facial products at that point. But yeah, I am going to take my pre-workout, get ready to go to the gym, knock out this workout, which today, let's see what we got. Yesterday, yesterday I think I did chest and chest and back, I believe. No, chest and arms is what I did yesterday because I didn't finish out the workout. Um, today, it says we have legs and abs. So legs and abs, I'll do a cross shred because cross shred is what I've been doing. Um, it's got like, it's a high intensity workout. So you'll be doing like blurpees and all the rest of that stuff. You're still getting your heart rate up. Um, so I'll do the mini, which is 30 to 35 minutes. Uh, we got sumo squats, uh, dumbbell deadlift, leg extensions, hamstring curls, and then like um, decon plate sit-ups, twists, all the rest of that stuff. So it's a good quick 30 minute workout. I can still get some stuff done. Cause again, we getting back to the basics. We getting back on track. We getting out of a slump. Pretty much is what we're going to call this. Um, and it's not just going to be one day that's going to get you out of that. You're going to have to stack days on days. So maybe this vlog will be a couple of days. I mean, getting out of the slump and just getting back to, uh, again, the basics of life. Um, I'm not going to be able to do my cold plunge today either, which we'll talk about that later. Let's go to the gym. When the walk will be shaded by the trees, by a meadow of green, oh, by the mountain. All right, we ready to go with the workout. As you can see, skin hydrated. You don't gotta go through a full facial routine to get that done. As y'all can see right here, I got the shorts on. Make sure y'all check out our shorts. Got the lining inside of it. We got workout tees too. I'm just rocking a cutoff today, but just hit the website, creatureofhabits.com. Just had to plug that in there. But yeah, about to head to the gym. I'm feeling good after my pre-workout. And one thing, make sure you guys do this before the gym. Put on deodorant. With all my favorite colors, yes, sir. All my favorite colors, My sisters and my brothers see them like no other. All my favorite colors. It's a good day to be, a good day for me, a good day. All right, so we back from the gym, but I made an executive decision whenever I went to the gym not to use and not to use my regular vlogging camera. I went back to my Sony uh, ZV-1. So it's good to have two different cameras in the rotation. I put the SD card um, in from this camera into here. It was trying to make me format the shit. So I had to come back upstairs, change the SD card and then film, but it worked out. So let's check on the status of these batteries, man. This shit is still like charging. So I'm probably gonna have to either just bring this camera um, and vlog on this. The only thing I don't like about this is cause the batteries are much smaller. So the battery runs out a lot quicker, but I do have a lot more batteries than I have for um, the Sony V, Sony ZV E1, um, which I mostly shoot my vlogs on. Justin, let me know that he's running a little bit behind. So I got a little bit more time. He just dropped a vlog too. Make sure y'all check out Justin's channel. I'll make sure to, to pin it down below because somebody else had asked if Justin had a channel. Um, he does have a YouTube channel. He just hasn't been on it, but shit, now he's back on it and it's good to see the homies out here creating some content. Um, but yeah, that was a really, really good workout. So now that I got some extra time, I low key might order me some, uh, some ice real quick. I don't know if, how long they're gonna take to do my ice bath. But speaking of my ice bath, because 
I had posted a video of me like cleaning it out. Obviously, you have to clean it out. I have like a five gallon bucket that I use that's out here. Um, let me see if I can show y'all it. Let me go outside. My slides on. Only thing I don't like about this too is the lens is not as wide as the other one, but there's a five gallon bucket right there. So I be using that to empty it out and obviously fill it up. So bro, I got so many people that was like, bro, you better than me because I would have just tossed the water over the balcony and let that shit hit somebody down below. Y'all are menaces to society because there's no way in hell I would do that because you already know my apartments be tripping about me having to cold up anyway. They're looking for the slightest excuse to kick me out, not even kick me out because they can't kick me out, to tell me to take this shit off of my balcony. But I haven't had any issues because I didn't even respond to the email that they sent about having liability insurance, bruh. I'm not paying them no mind. But I did get this little like um, pump thing that you can attach a, uh, a little water hose to. You put it in there and it just like sucks all the water out and then it'll go straight over to the sink, which is gonna eliminate me having to go back and forth with like the bucket emptying it out, which that takes me like 30, 30 some minutes, maybe 40 minutes, depending on how fast I'm going back and forth. But that somebody suggested to me, I think it's called like a, a pool cover like vacuum or whatever it is, but it just drains all the water. It goes in there. I need to find something to fill it up. I don't know if they have like a little reverse thing to where the water will go there, but who knows? Another thing too, I took the flowers, the flowers that was over here that I had for um, Taja and stuff for Valentine's Day, they died off. So like after maybe a week, week or two, damn, so it's dark. Uh, maybe like a week or two, so I gotta go to the flowers market, the flower market, probably tomorrow because it's not open to the public after like 12 o'clock. So I'm gonna probably go by there tomorrow, refill all of these because that shit looks extremely empty and not having any like flower arrangements there. Plus it'll be way cheaper than what I had to spend for like Valentine's Day flowers. I think I spent $350 on the big bouquet. Then the other stuff was like 35, 10, so maybe like, 400 500 dollars or something like that that i had to spend on flowers but i have a package downstairs so i might be doing an unboxing i'm pretty sure it's the shoes from john geiger and since we trying to get back on track we trying to uplift the mood i'm probably gonna throw on some new kicks because what's better than having a fresh pair of kicks on with a nice little fit going to chat with your homies get some shit off your chest and then go about your day but i'm gonna go downstairs pick that up and then i'll check back in okay so package came in there's some like flower package that was downstairs. I don't know how long this has been sitting here, but it definitely says open ASAP. And who knows when this got delivered. So I'm gonna open this. Who is this from? DMC team. I'm pretty sure that's like, oh, Dove Men's Care. Oh, so I did, a, I'm doing a campaign with Dove and they decided to send over some flowers. Damn, these are like stuck in here. Hold on. So they decided to send over a little bouquet of flowers i really appreciate that i wish i would have known earlier so what i can do is take this small one that these were in put these in here and then i don't have to buy another one so i don't know how long these are going to last because again i don't know how long they were in there but i'll try to cut these before i leave put them in water and then set them up over there but thank you uh dove men for sending that over now, let's get to the nitty gritty. My boy, John Geiger, is always coming through with the pack. I, I love to see it. I always get a like UPS notification because I have a little account set up. And as soon as I see a specific shipper, I know John is coming through. And I see my homies get these pairs. And boy, I forgot the name of these. I think it's like, Tuxedo or Tweedle, I don't know. I'm butchering the name, but look at the textures on those bad boys. Boy, bruh, I can only go into detail every single time that John does not miss. He doesn't miss, man. And considering I usually wear black, I'm gonna be rocking these. These are beautiful, bro. The materials, everything about his shoes is always top quality and he doesn't even ever ask me to like post about it nothing i show love just for the simple fact that he thinks of me every single time there's a drop he sends me stuff 
I have, I think, over like 10 pairs of his shoes now. Uh, Taja has a purse from him. Uh, I also have like the red slides that I have from him. Like I have some house shoes from him. Like he sent me mad shit and just never said, yo, bro, like if you, if you could just post for me, it doesn't matter. That's what like a genuine just like vibe and friendship is. I've never met John in person at all. I've only talked to him via DM. He gave me his number. Hopefully one day we'll actually get to link in person, do some cool shit. But I really appreciate the hard work that he puts in, the quality of work that he puts out. And he's constantly evolving. Like he's getting into bags. He's getting into more like in-depth shoes, materials, all these different things. And I'm pretty sure like at some point he'll probably create like some, I think his, his girl came out with some like home stuff, like a cup, whatever it is. But it's always good to see other creatives winning and they're not, you know, expecting like, oh, do this for me, do this for me. When you genuinely have a vibe with someone, you're gonna show love regardless. So thank you, John, um, for these. I'm gonna rock these today. Uh, these are perfect to, to uplift the mood and get it going. I also got some inventory in for the Creature of Habits. As you know, inventory comes in um, every probably like month. I do some by air and I do some by sea. So the air shipments, cost me a lot more, but I get the product quicker. And then I have the remaining of it come like by sea. And by sea, it usually takes like 20 to 30 days, depending on um, who the shipper is. So all this stuff is getting depleted, but at the same time, we got another, you know, 250 to 500 units coming in to restock those. So that's good, because I'm low key down on hooks. I need to restock on the small face scrubbers, because um, those are super low. So I need to hit up my supplier to do that. But yes, let's um, let's get dressed. I'm gonna take y'all through my skincare too. Cause a lot of people ask that what razor. So we'll go through that stuff too. So let's get dressed. Let's head over here to the copy shop because we got about uh, 56 minutes before we gotta be there and it's a 30 minute drive. So I gotta get out of here pretty quick. All right, so let's get into the skincare real quick. For the cleanser that I use, I've been using this for probably a year now, um, is the Kel Green Tea Spinach and Vitamins Super Cleanser from Youth to the People. Uh, this is the refillable um, little like size. They also have like a smaller one that obviously you refill with this. Has a pump on it and they have like a travel size one as well. I really love this. Um, they've sent me stuff. I've also bought stuff, but now they'll continuously send me stuff. And in combination with that, I use our Face Scrubber Plus, which 100% silicone. It's got the long bristles on it, as you can see right here, because I can get in like side my facial hair as well as like more surface area on my face. Our smaller face scrubber, it gets the job done, but I just like this, especially if you have a little bit of facial hair to get that done, because skincare goes all the way down to the neck, if you guys don't know that. Um, then also, I have my vitamin C serum right here from Dr. Dennis Gross. I like this because it keeps your, um, and use this only in the daytime. Uh, vitamin C keeps your skin light, glowing, vibrant. Um, I also, like I said earlier, I use this hemp seed oil after that for a little bit of hydration. And then for moisturizers, I've used different moisturizers. This is currently the one that I'm using from Dr. Dennis Gross. Um, it's got vitamin C in it as well. Uh, so I really like that. And then anytime that I have like a pimple that like pops up, I did a, I did a, uh, a campaign with Clean and Clear like a while ago and I promoted this Persa Gel 10. And this is for like, those little like small areas and stuff where you see a pimple popping up, you put it on there. I mostly use this like at night or something, or like if I'm on the go and something pops up, put it on there before I head out. But this has benzol in it. So just be mindful of that. That stuff can like bleach your clothes um, and stuff like that. But yeah, I use that. And then for my moisturizer, as far as my skin right now, I do use the Vaseline uh, with the cocoa butter and stuff inside of it. But in the past, I've used shea butter, raw shea butter, which I've, everything's linked on my Amazon list. I need to buy more shea butter. But that is like my skincare routine for the morning. At night, it's still the same cleanser, but I use two different products as far as like, uh, like serums and stuff. So I got this like fresh beauty serum, this Lotus one that I actually did a campaign with them too, but I really love this stuff. And then this Dream Face Cream as like my moisturizer. So it's just like a little quick reset process. I also use like the uh, little eye mask, whatever, whenever I have like bags and stuff underneath my eyes. 
I don't have time to do that. So I'm gonna wash my face, go through this process. I'll show you guys this process so you guys can see it. But yeah, that's the stuff that I use. And one last thing, everyone asked what razor I use. This is Gillette heated razor. This is, I don't think it's like charged right now, but five blade system. I wouldn't highly suggest it if you have sensitive skin because five blades might irritate you. It all really depends. You can try it, it might work for you, but you know, a single blade is always good too. I just don't use single blades because that shit, I just be cutting myself. I don't, I don't use single blades. I've been using this five blade system for five plus years now. So yeah, let's jump into this. So we're lacing up the kicks and if y'all been following along, today we're rocking the Cartier. Finally putting on the Santos. I, I barely wear this watch. One, cause it's like, I like the watch, don't get me wrong, but I'm more of like a, I just be dressing chill most of the time. Just something like chill, sporty, just like this hoodie. Got on some like um, cargo pants from John Elliott. A beanie, like I just be really chilling on days like this for sure, on the sun ain't even out. It's just more of just like a vibe. And I just like a nice sporty watch, but Cartier is a good, the Cartier Santos is a good kind of just like starter watch if you guys want to get into watches. It's not something that has, it doesn't have like a, a crazy movement inside of it. It's not going to have like a Rolex movement. It's not going to have any of those type of like movements, but it's a nice like piece that you can wear with a lot of different things. If you want to just wear like a t-shirt, um, going out for brunch, um, if you want to wear it with a suit, you can wear it a bunch of different ways. It's really versatile. Um, is it versatile or versatile? I, who knows? But yeah, my homies have been on me about not rocking this and I'm pretty sure they got theirs on today. So we're gonna see whenever we get to the coffee shop. But it's 1044, I am running behind per usual, but we're gonna get out of here. And I was gonna watch uh, Justin's vlog on the way. The cool thing about, look at this. See, Jeremiah, he be watching the vlogs on the screen. I don't like electric cars, and y'all can say whatever y'all want about that, but at least he can watch TV on his screen. He's like YouTube, whatever. My BMW, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think I can watch YouTube on that thing. So that is what it is. All right, so I'm about to head out. I don't think these batteries have done anything. Actually, let's just, let's see. So we all know these batteries been trying to make it to life. Bro, they didn't made it up to like basically nothing. You can't even see that, but I'm gonna bring my portable charger because hopefully this has more wattage in it and it could just plug up and keep them bad boys charged because this is on 22%. My small camera, I guess I'll just bring it just in case. But yeah, let's head out. Let's get over here to Community Goods is what it's called and check in with the homies at the coffee shop. She Since I don't have a TV inside of my vehicle, all I got is a little go. GPS system. Yeah, I'm watching my boy Justin's right vlog there. on my leg my while I'm Bluetooth and yeah. making sure that I tap in before we get to coffee. Bro, the graffiti in LA be different. All over the side of CVS. Literally back there said LA is not safe. But we made it to the coffee shop. Look who it is. Yeah. Justin and Shepard. First one's here, you know how to buy Shepard, Shepherd, how you doing today, man? How you doing? You had a bottle? You chilling so like you just broke a little smile. We <laughs> love to see it. And Jeremiah is the one that told us to come all the way over here. And of course, I thought I was late, which I am like 20 minutes late or whatever it is, but Jeremiah is not even here. So I've never been here before. It's packed, but this is just coffee? Yeah. Okay. Well, they, got, they got like little sandwiches. So, All right, because I have somebody comment on my Instagram. It's like, nigga, we don't ever see you eat. <laughs> and I can agree with that. I have not eaten today, which is real ghetto. 
but I'm gonna see what they got. Funny, <laughs> bro. It, it kind of makes sense. I eat salmon in one of my other vlogs, yeah, but it's I didn't like see that one at the end. I don't think I ever show myself yeah, eating. That's the I just kind of talk about it. But whoever said that, you're kind of on point. <laughs> but that's crazy. disrespectful. Oh yeah, so we Justin was doing an unboxing on his uh, his yeah, vlog, like and the only thing that I disapproved of, man, he had the slipper thongs. But tell the people about the slipper thongs, man. And then you gotta have the dogs out sometimes. Hey, uh, pedicure or not, slipper thongs are for middle aged white men. As I'm long sorry. As your feet are moisturized, let it rock. You know? Long as you that's the that's the only thing that almost made me dislike the video. <laughs> <laughs> but I gave it. But I gave it a thumbs up. Anybody that dislikes videos on YouTube, you are a real life fucking hater, a prick, whatever you want to call yourself. Like I, to go dislike someone's video, just just don't like it. Yeah, Disliking a video is crazy. crazy. Not unless you just get completely trolled on something. Yeah. I don't see the point of disliking a video. You watch the entire thing, and it's like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> No, it's crazy. I have like yeah, six dislikes yeah. each video or whatever it is. And I, I don't know if it's bots, but I couldn't imagine watching someone's full video and saying, you know what? I'm going to dislike his shit. Yeah. But at least you spent the time watching it. I got my essence. That's all that matters. Wow. It is. It definitely is. Jeremiah still hasn't showed up. So we'll uh, we'll do a little chronicles of how long it takes him to get here. I think you just said the furniture showed up. Yo, they have to move or actually, boy, there. this boy got on the slippers right now. I do. Look at that. Ching, ching. Ching, ching. Hey, couldn't be me. Dad or not, I'm keeping the toes up. All right, so I figured out this battery issue. It was the wattage that was definitely on the, uh, the little cube that I had at home because I put it on the portable charger and these mugs are zooming up now. So this battery is on 14%, but if you guys need portable charging, Mophie is where it's at. It's got the USB, USB type C, and it basically can give your phone up to two charges, but obviously it can serve up the pack here too so we can keep vlogging. Oh yeah, y'all didn't even get to see these on feet. Bruh, these, bust it. Again, Jangam, Geiger, total with these. Look at the side profile. Hella POV. These are just, uh, these are a 10 out of 10. For Carlos. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so we had to pull up. We had to hand deliver his drink right That's here. That's right. Yeah, Special delivery. Because he didn't show up. So I ended up getting the, I think it was vanilla bean, uh, whatever it was. But oh, no. But the man that invited us all the way over here. Listen, different scenes. Hey, listen, I'm still working. I'm out here. You see my space. Welcome to my space. Some, you got to blur this part out. Just kidding. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. It's okay. Anyways, welcome to my space. This is pretty much... I'm late. I didn't make it because I was working. But at least I gave them a whole different scenery besides Maru. Introduced yeah. him to community goods. I don't know what his response was. How'd you like community it? Community goods was... It was decent. It was a scene. I mean, there's a lot of people there. A lot it seems like a spot there. where like, yeah. oh yeah, I go here. You know every female yeah. wearing Lululemon yeah. and aloe, yes. no offense, and every dude wearing chrome hearts, that's where they're going. That's exactly. That's but, like Fairfax energy. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry, but you're here. Welcome to the space. Yeah, this space is like, look at this big mirror. That way y'all can see my, my full fit. So we can, uh, I got a lot of black lights, but oh well. You guys get the gist. But the Geigers, bro, we can't get enough of the Geigers. Then, obviously, these are like staple glasses from, uh, what is these? Damn, are these? These are Tom Brown, yeah. Tom Brown. I've had these for a number of years and I've lost them so many times. I had to rebuy them like two, three times. And hoodie is from RTA, pants from uh, John Elliott. Beanie from, I don't remember. Look guys, I got inventory coming. Uh, I don't know if he's gonna put this in the video, but go ahead and check out b1archive.com. It's one of my brands, my brand actually. So, you know, check out, shout out to my boys helping me out. Yeah. Boy, these hoes have a nice product. It's all clothes. Well, this man, Jeremiah, got us in here, lifting 30 boxes. Oh, yeah. 
Let me show y'all this shit. First of all, these fools need to invest in a dolly. Hey man, I just niggas ain't got no dolly. Space, Look at this shit. <laughs> he got his going from truck to door, hand delivering boxes. Bro, look, I get, I got sweat on my head. Wait, you got some napkins? I'm still waiting. Yeah, I got it. Paper towels? Look, you know, he, he had his drive all the way over here. He didn't meet us at the coffee shop. You know, you better be lucky he giving me words of wisdom. I'm out here sweating. I done already did legs today. Y'all seen that leg extension. And then he got 30 boxes over here and they said, it's supposed to be some more coming. Huh? Wow. I get toilet paper to wipe down the head. But at least, you, you know, you see the reflection off the top of my, if you bald and your stuff don't hit like this, I, I don't know what to tell you. You want a bottle of Patron? I got, I got tequila. Bro. I need a shot. This ain't even, this ain't even Charmin. That's crazy. First this is that stuff that they be having at the airport, that paper thin stuff. First and foremost. Make your butt bleed. We just moving into this space. This uh -huh. space has been built out. We're changing it into a workshop. So this space is gonna be a store slash gallery space for if Carlos wanted to do a, a pop-up or whatever he wants to do for his products and goods. Same as with David and Goliath behind me, you know, so. This is space. If you got something you want to no, do come in nice. LA, come holla at your boy. Oh, <laughs> now I got fuck. look at this. Ridiculous. <laughs> See, that's how you know your paper is your toilet paper. That, but one, but that's how you know my shit's slick. I got that uh, that Vaseline on there. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, All right, let me clean up a little bit. Uh, skin busting, no cat. Look at that. This nigga said, "Wait, what?" <laughs> no filter. No filter. <laughs> it's twelve forty-six, and have I completed any emails today? No. I told you we're getting back on track, but that shit is gonna be slowly. Yeah. Sorry, I'm so cool. I'm just busy right now. Alright, I'm back at home. And for those that say I don't eat on my vlogs, I'm about to eat this. It's penne ale vodka with chicken. So I'm about to eat that. Then I'm going to Cut these flowers that I was supposed to cut before I left, put them in the vase, and then clean up. I got boxes, I don't even know if you can see. It's like boxes and stuff on the floor for me unboxing earlier. I'm gonna clean up the apartment and then I'm going to jump on some emails, catch up on any emails and stuff I had today. And yeah, so probably just gonna do some B-roll of me actually eating a meal, cleaning up the apartment, and I'll probably pick up the vlog Bruh, this company that's been owed me money since, I know we're supposed to be getting into B-roll, uh, cleaning up. Bruh, this company then owed me money since, literally, I think, the 5th? Where it's, it's the 27th. 27th. And who sends checks anymore? The, they sent a, a physical check in the mail. One, they mailed it to the wrong place at first. My old address, which they didn't even let me know that they were even giving me a check and it's ridiculous. And then you gotta sit here and like tear this shit off. Bro, look, all this time, this check was late and it's only for $5,000. Like this whole, like I said, being a creator is great. It's cool. But bro, the amount of times that you have to deal with companies that just pay late and just do shit like this, like why are you sending a check? We got ACH transfers, we got all these different ways that you could just immediately get someone money and then you're late, you send it to the wrong address. It's wild, it blows my mind. So again, if you're gonna be a creator, be prepared for stuff like this. And nine times out of 10, these companies won't allow you to put late clauses inside of your uh, contract. Some do, some will pay you up front, um, half of it, whatever it is, but yeah. I'm just happy I got my money. Use that money to pay some bills and stuff because shit, February is literally over tomorrow. So this bill's recycling. Boom. Oh baby, it's the look in your eyes that makes you the prize. I wish we were together right now. It's true. You make my body feel loose. Oh baby, it's 
The way that you lay, the way that you play I'm praying for forever As well as now I don't want to hide, I don't want to hide I don't want to shy from you No, I don't want to lie, I don't want to lie And say that I don't want you So if you could lay your cards right down I am waiting on the table If you could show me love somehow We don't need to have a label You know that I will love you Alright, so it's the next day Going through my morning routine I've had my tea, um, wrote in my journal Which, journaling is great Especially when you're trying to like Track your feelings, track your mood Get stuff off your chest, hold yourself accountable Whatever it is journal as much as you can if you can journal every day that would be great whether it's like a quick five minutes to just jot down how you're feeling in the morning um this morning i kind of woke up and me and uh justin and everybody was supposed to go to this like um staircase to like you know walk up it or whatever it is a little hike in the morning but like in the, this morning like my body was just like bro you just need to rest and sometimes you need to just listen to your body and just rest like i'm not even going to the gym today um, I'm actually just going to do some power yoga, which it's less impact. You're still getting core work and stuff like that. I ordered my ice for my ice bath. I'm going to take my five minute ice bath. And then I'm going to gradually get into my day, get into my to my to do list, all that stuff. But getting back on track, it's not like just immediate. Yeah, you can do things that you normally do, but you might fall off very quickly if you don't listen to your body, listen to your mind, listen to all the things that are all encompassed to you getting back to yourself. So I'm slowly getting back to myself and that takes time. I might make it to the flower market today because it closes at 12, I might not. If I don't, just do it the next day. Um, get the stuff done that's important and what's important right now is I get on my emails, I get back to um, contracts, invoices, all that stuff that I have to do, shipping orders um, and stuff like that. So I'll be going to my office a little bit later today after I go through this. Uh, morning routine. I'm actually currently editing this vlog. I've got most of the first half done, um, but I'm getting I'm getting there. And give yourself grace, like I've said in plenty of my videos. Give yourself grace um, whenever you've fallen off or if you're just kind of in a bad place mentally. Give yourself grace and understand that it takes time. You're a human being. You're not a machine. You can't just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going because you're gonna crash at some point. I mean, you don't want yourself to crash because it's hard to get out of those crashes and rebuild yourself from scratch. If you find yourself falling off and you find it in the middle, it's a lot easier to get back to where you need to get to. So I'm going to uh, wait on this ice bath or ice to get here. I'm going to do my power yoga and then I'll tap back in with you guys. Counting days, counting days since my love up and go lost on me. Every breath that I've been taking since you left feels like a waste on me. Inhale to expand. I've been holding on to hope that you'll come back when you can find some peace. Cause every word that I've heard spoken since you left feels like a hollow street. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I need you by my side There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder And if only I could hold you You'd keep my head from going under Maybe I, maybe I'm just being blinded by the brighter side Alright, so I just finished up this chapter. Um, I think the name of this chapter in Atomic Habits was The Role of Friends and Family in Shaping Your Habits. And it breaks it down into three sections. The close, the many, and the powerful. The one thing that stuck out to me um, that I've just really been adamant about like my entire life is imitating the close. And that's the people around you. Whether it's like you pick up your habits, it gives you an example of like how your how your parents like argued, if your friends are smoking pot, like how um, easy it is for you to fall into those habits. Your habits are really shaped by the people that you 
intertwine yourself with. So if you're hanging out with bad influences, you're typically probably gonna fall into those bad influences. Even though you have a choice and you know better, when you're constantly surrounded by something or if you're constantly surrounded by violence, just like people who live in like the hood and shit, they're constantly surrounded by shit that they know is wrong, but that's the reality and that's what their habits are shaped around because it's a daily thing that they're around. But it also goes uh, in another direction. If you surround yourself around good positive influences, you're gonna start moving towards that direction because that's what you're constantly around. If you're constantly around a group of friends who are pushing you to, to live a healthier lifestyle, to be more accountable, to be this, that, and the other, and more in a positive aspect, you're gonna start shifting towards that. And you're gonna start imitating those things. And it talks about like how people imitate the powerful or the successful. People imitate people's daily routines all day long here on YouTube because they see it as like, okay, this person's successful and this is what they're doing. I need to imitate that to be this. So it all comes down to habits. And this kind of like wraps up my vlog, even though I got more stuff to do. Your habits at the end of the day, like they determine like your destiny and your habits on a daily basis is ultimately gonna get, get you back on track to where you need to be. It's ultimately gonna get me back on track to where I need to be and get myself back mentally, physically, spiritually, whatever it is, it all comes down to the small things that you do every single day, the people that you surround yourself with, and learning to accept that your habits will ultimately become your destiny. I have that on my canvas, I have that tattooed on my leg, and it's always funny that it all comes back to literally just most smallest shit that will get you back on track. And yeah, hopefully like, these two days have showed you a little bit of insight on how I get back on track and just back to myself. It's just getting back to the small habits that helped me become successful in the first place. And if this is a constant reminder to you, please leave some feedback. I really appreciate the love and support you guys show me on here. I really enjoy long form content because I'm able to connect. I'm able to just give you my personality um, and my raw thoughts. So um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.